Today's story is My Mother's Butterfly. Onions, check. Peppers, check. Tomatoes, check. Don't forget about the secret ingredient, pepperoni. Amari and her mom shouted together and they both giggled. Let's set the table while the sauce simmers, Amari's mom said. And while they set the table, Amari's dad stole a taste of their delicious sauce cooking on the stove. Amari had caught her dad and they all laughed together. Later that night, Amari's mom read her a bedtime story and she went soundly to sleep recounting their fun family dinner. The next morning, Amari's mom dropped her off at school, but Amari's mom was late for picking her up from school. She had a funny feeling like butterflies in her stomach. It didn't feel good. Finally, her grandmother arrived. She told her that Amari's mom was sick and could not pick her up from school today. Worried, Amari asked, can I see her? Let's let mommy get some rest. She's at the hospital and daddy will take care of her. So that means at home, Amari's mom couldn't make their delicious sauce or read a bedtime story or drive her to school. All day, Amari thought about her mom and she couldn't finish her work. She didn't eat at lunchtime. She didn't play at recess and she didn't pay attention in class. One day, Amari was sitting in her room after school thinking about her mom again, and her mother noticed Amari was upset. Amari, you seem sad. Yes, I miss mommy so much. I wish I could see her and play with her. Well, the doctors are doing their best to help mommy, but you know what? You can help pick up things around the house, help make our super special sauce, and make her a get well card. Let's do it all, Amari shouted. So they cleaned the house, made get well cards, and made the secret sauce. Peppers, onions, and tomatoes. Don't forget the pepperoni, Amari shouted. You know, your mother and I made this exact same sauce when she was a child, her grandmother said. Wow, Amari gave her a big smile. A few days later, Amari learned some great news and her mother will be home soon and she was ready for her. Amari's mother arrived at the door and Amari ran and hugged her so tight. Mommy, we have a surprise for you. Can you give it to me in bed? I'm still a little weak, Amari's mom said. After getting into bed, Amari's mom received the surprise, her get well cards and a plate of spaghetti with her special delicious sauce. Amari's mother gasped and smiled. It looks delicious, she said. Amari had then noticed a red rash on her mother's face. Mommy, what's on your face? It's my butterfly from the lupus. What's lupus? If someone has lupus, their bodies get confused, and instead of attacking something that would make their body sick, it attacks the body instead. Does it hurt? Well, not the rash, but my body does. This is why I need a lot of rest and cannot do everything I usually do. Well, since you take care of me, I will take care of you, Mommy. Amari asked her mom what would help her feel better, and her mother said, when I feel bad or weak, I pray. But mommy, I don't know how to pray. It's just like talking like you and I are doing right now. So Amari prayed. God, thank you for helping my mom get out of the hospital. I pray that you give her strength so she gets better and that you help teach me how to help take care of her. Thank you.